In this video, we're going to take a look at how to manage categories in my calendar. You'll notice you'll find that area right here. You can think of categories as calendars. Each calendar you make has a category ID assigned to it. Notice there's two calendars on this website, the AA area meetings and the events calendar. Each has a category ID. Now you will get a short code to put into the page that you want to display whichever calendar you want. Notice the short codes are listed here in the help. My calendar is the main short code. If you use just this one here, nothing else, it's going to pull all the information into a grid view from all your calendars. If you put category on the end of it, you can uh, narrow the calendar down to a, a particular one. And I, I'll show you right here. We'll go to the pages. Look at the area A meeting schedule. And you'll notice I used just my calendar. Ignore these for, or I'll go over these right here. Just my calendar pulls information from both calendars because I don't have a category assigned to it. Got format list above time frame nav and uh, time equals day. And what that does, I'll show you right here. Formats list is showing in a list view. Time frame is giving people the options to switch their views. Okay. And then, of course, I have it set to day, daily as well, if you notice. List, time frame, day sets it to a daily, daily show. All right. Now, let's go look at uh, this here pulls both the events and the area AA meeting schedule onto this page. I have both of them coming in because I didn't assign it a category. Now, if we go look at the events calendar, calendar of events, I have the my calendar category equals one. If we go to the events calendar, like I said, if you, if you don't display a list view, it's going to list in grid. This is called grid right here. It's just showing the information from the events ca uh, category. You could tell by the key down here. The category key has this symbol here. Area meeting keys has like three little people like they're in a meeting. If you want to add a new calendar, that's where you would do it. Manage categories. Give it a name. This would be the category name, be the name of your calendar. My new calendar. And you can assign it an icon here. I'll just, let's give it a concert icon here. So we're going to add the category. Okay. And because I, right now there are no, no, uh, uh, there are no events added to this calendar as of yet. But regardless, it gives it an ID of seven. Regardless, I want to go ahead and set it up on a page. So we're going to add us a new page. Well, first, let's go to the help section. Just copy and paste my calendar short code. Okay, add a new page. This will be a new calendar. We'll give it a title. We'll call this concert calendar because I got the little guitar there. And we'll go here and we'll go put a category. And if you recall, the category for the new calendar was seven. So put a space in between those. Category equals, put two of those, and just put the number seven right there. And we'll save this as a draft so you can see it. Okay, let's preview. There's my new calendar. It doesn't have any information on it yet because I haven't assigned an event to it. If you wanted to assign an event to it, you would add a new event. My new event. And let me 
see calendar events it's important to go ahead and add the title a second time in my new event because look what happens when this opens up if you don't you see, where I put my new event on the one I just did this is what's showing up right here okay but you notice it also shows here I like to have that double confirmation that I'm getting an actual correct event that I'm looking at if you don't put it a second time it won't show right here so we're going to do that a second time whoops get back to where I need to be call my new event I'm going to go ahead and put the time in as well we'll make it two p.m. so it will show up on that title and then we're going to go again and event details it's not really necessary to have the time here because the calendar will actually display the time for you so let's make this uh, let's make it to, for today two o'clock and we'll make it recur weekly And we'll go ahead and give it a preset location. Let's say, uh, let's put Harbor Town there. We'll give it a preset location. All right. Oh, the most important part we need to assign it to the correct calendar, the event category or the calendar. We'll assign it there. Now, if you ever forget to do that part, it's very simple. Just come back into that particular event and change it to the correct calendar. So it's very easy to forget to do that part. In my new calendar and there it is repeating weekly and because I used the preset location it's already going to pull up the map as well and if I needed to edit that I could do it from the back end here I could edit this particular one when it says edit this date that includes date and time and I could edit all that's really all there is to adding a new calendar, managing the calendars. Obviously, you can also delete the calendar. So, uh, it's really it's really fairly fairly straightforward on how to manage calendars.